In today's video, we will learn how to use the header builder tool that comes bundled in with the B theme. Hi, my name is Asad Siddiqui. I'm the owner and developer at iDesignSmart.com. And in my last week's video, I was going over the B theme options and uh, importing the sample content and showing you some of the options on how to uh, work with the muffin builder. And we set up this site. Um, uh, by importing the demo layout. So we talked about the header, footer, header options, subheader, and what are the default things that are set up when you import the file. So if you need to know that, uh, feel free to check out that video on my channel. Uh, in today's video, I wanted to go over a lot of detail about a new tool that comes with the B theme and the tool is bundled in. It is called the header builder tool. And the idea is to be able to customize this area of the header without having to uh, modify the uh, header.php or having to install the child theme. So they want to make it as simple as drag and drop, which is great. Uh, people really like that. So I will show you how to use that. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing that you need to do, and I did in my previous video, was to install this bundled plugin called the B Theme Header Header Builder. Uh, right now, you notice that it's in a beta version, and they don't uh, recommend using it on a production because um, they just started working on it, and it currently does not support all the different styles and options. Uh, it won't work with the different things that you can do with the B Theme. Obviously, the B-theme headers are very versatile. You can uh, do horizontal, vertical orientations. You can pop them out and uh, set things up in the header with custom CSS. So that all is, is still a valid option. Um, but the purpose of this video is to go over what we can do with the header builder and how to use that. So what I'll do, the first thing that you need to do is uh, currently we have the default uh, uh, B-theme header options set up. So if I go to B theme here and go to theme options, you will see that uh, I can play around with this layout in my header and subheader options. And I can like change things around right now. This is set up. Uh, I can like set it up like that or like that or uh, like uh, I was saying the vertical orientation uh, menus and logos. So you can do all that in the header options. Uh, you also see a top bar, which is a subheader uh, that also you can set up from your uh, subheader options. So once you start using the header builder, uh, these options are gone from the theme options. Uh, so let's do that and see what happens. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to plugins and simply activate this header builder. So if I activate this header builder, uh, what we see now is, uh, okay, so right now I have something configured, looks like in my header builder, otherwise you would just see a default white bar. So you notice that the subheader is gone and you notice that the uh, header styles are will also be gone. So if you go to theme options here, then you'll notice that, um, Okay, I'll click on the header and subheader. Okay, there you go. B theme header plugin active header related options are hidden. So you cannot configure the theme uh, header differently when you have the header builder. So that's the first thing to know. Why is it in beta yet? Because it is not uh, configured or designed for all the things that you can do like subheader options and, and stuff like that. So it is extremely simple and a great idea. And I've seen this type of plugin uh, or header builder in different themes like the X theme has it. Uh, I think there is a Jupiter theme. Uh, they also support it. Uh, th there are a bunch of themes that um, offer this kind of header builder. So this is a great start. And I think uh, this will uh, evolve into something that is really very, very meaningful and powerful. So how do we work this is you simply activate the plugin, which I did, and then under the B theme options, you will get this header builder option. So click on the header builder 
and once you click on the header builder it will show you uh, currently it says that it's in the beta and do not use it on production um, okay so you get this um, visual area that you can work with you also have options to do tablet and mobile uh, header and you can also like turn on the subheader with this action bar and, and and stuff like that so we'll talk about that later right now let's jump right into that as you can see if i hover over my mouse here um, there is a left alignment center alignment and right alignment available i have a menu configured in the right alignment which is why i was seeing that menu in my uh, header bar so if I refresh this right now, you won't see anything. It will just be a black bar. Uh, let's uh, turn on the action bar and see what it does. Uh, let's see if uh, it brings back our secondary or the sticky bar. Okay, looks like the area increased, but I don't see anything here. Uh, maybe I will no I don't see anything there as well and if I say the second row okay you are in auto mode uh, so okay so I'll have to look at what auto mode is uh, but using the header builder is extremely simple so they have designed it to be extremely simple what do you want to do uh, that is your action bar uh, okay so now in the builder area you see three rows and they are all widget type uh, rows so you can I will turn off the second row and save the changes okay so the in the default setup now I have two rows to work with one is my action bar and one is my um, this header area so even for right now we'll turn off the action bar so we get only one okay now we have only one uh, and here you can simply drag and drop widgets from here into this area and they will start showing up in your header right here okay so how do we go about that okay let's uh, put a logo in there and line left is the logo we will go in the edit bar add an image and we will say upload a file and I will have a logo file somewhere probably so desktop um, logo okay logo one might be it yeah great so that is my logo and retinal logo you can also upload something that is twice the resolution of the original uh, you can also specify the height uh, for right now I'm not gonna select the overflow option and see how things work so once you are done you can just close this and now your logo should be all set up you save the change and you refresh this page so I expect a logo right there so look uh, my logo is there and now what I want to do is to make a right aligned uh, menu so that's extremely simple uh, uh, basic uh, header style that the B theme sports so right now I have the menu in there I can drag and drop this uh, I can say what kind of menu will I have I right now I have only one so I can select default you can also select if you want borders or you want arrows with sub menus and uh, four sub menus for the last two items to the right so those are the default uh, type options you can also hover go over to style options and change a bunch of settings here so you can control the active links and the hover over links and stuff like that so right now I have two things here I'll just save the change and I will refresh it now I expect to see a right align menu okay there you go so I have a right align menu and a left align logo uh, now also you can bring the uh, other action bar so if I bring on the action bar now you see at the top there is something else so I want to put my social stuff on the right align in the action bar and I want to put some text in the left align action bar so to modify the text again I will click on the pencil icon and I will put my number here or something one 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 two 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 three 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 so that's my number and you can also go here and modify uh, the styles so the text color I will change that to white and okay so just 
to show you what it is and I will just save changes and we will refresh this page okay so that was the wrong thing to do because uh, basically the second bar uh, secondary bar color is uh, white so I wonder if there is anything in the action bar itself that I can modify I can hover over that background color I can change that to black and I can make it uh, fully opaque so there is no transparency so it's a black bar and then there is a white text on it so that's what I want to do just to show you uh, what is possible again you can also write custom CSS uh, to do that um, okay my it looks like my header option social icons are not showing so I'll go into the options and you can select all the different options that you want so I will just randomly pick uh, some stuff and okay so add it and do that link URL is this add it so now you see this list is growing so for it has like all the social media that you can think of so you'll have Facebook and you'll have Instagram and 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 you'll have Twitter and things like that so for Twitter I will just do that and add my Twitter um, and something else so maybe I will put my Vimeo as well so right now I have four so let's see if I can find Facebook and I thought it had a search option but uh, it doesn't look like it is available uh, F uh, for Facebook is right there so if uh, you want to do Facebook we'll do that and add okay so now I have these options and you can configure them to open in a new tab again you can go to style and change the hover color and icon color so for right now I'll change the icon color to white and just save changes so right now I expect to see here I can also like put HTML in this uh, so it becomes a link and the styling options apply you can see hover color active colors are all set up in the options so I will just refresh this and I expect to see some social media look at that so you have the social media here you have the action bar here you have the logo here and the menu here now let's say you want to do something in the middle uh, you can do that as well just uh, you can put a widget like a text widget right there and just edit that and say whatever you need to and you can style it like I showed to you also in the second or the header area you can play around with it let's say I want to make the menu in the middle and I want like a couple buttons on the right hand side so I will just add these buttons in and then I can edit them to and here you can put any link to the site and apply CSS classes you can also um, do styles so text color will be that button color will be like I'll just do something to show you uh, okay so like that okay so that's all good and we'll just close this and save changes and I don't know if we did that for second button so I will just go yeah so this is the one that we worked on uh, and the link I will just uh, configure an empty one and the style I will just leave that to default if you want to change it you obviously can go in and select what colors and styles you want so once that is done I will just refresh and now I see uh, I hope to see the menu uh, that doesn't look very good because uh, the menu is taking more space than um, I have in the header area so what I wanted to do was simply remove stuff from the menu so I'll go to appearance and menu and we don't need the like let's say buy now is now an action button so we don't need to and this text is too much 
so maybe one button will be better so I will just uh, remove the buy now button and remove the contact and save and then we go to header op builder options again and contact uh, will be now a button so I will remove this cancel I'll remove that and just say that this is a contact me button so I will call it contact right there okay so now everything should be good to go I think uh, this header height and menu options will be resolved uh, you, again you, I did go over some of the font options and size options and height options uh, stuff like that also after you work with the header builder not there is nothing that stops you uh, from creating uh, like writing custom CSS or if you want to modify stuff in functions.php uh, you can do that as well so that is pretty much it uh, you can see that it's a pretty nice um, setup and visually you can pretty much do whatever you need to do uh, thanks very much for watching uh, my contact information is in the description of the video and we do all kinds of WordPress uh, websites and solutions uh, third-party integrations custom plugins if you'd like to work with me um, send me an email and I will get back to you as soon as I can if you have any questions uh, leave your comments below and uh, I will get back with you thanks so much for watching